The history of science and technology has been shaped by many groundbreaking inventions which changed the world forever. X-rays or X-radiation is one of them. Yes, it is the very radiation that we use in medical treatments. But how it was invented and who invented it? It was all started around 1850s. Around 1850, with the help of improved vacuum technology, scientists started to study the discharge through gases. They were studying the patterns of light and darkness that appeared in the glass tubes. The patterns in the evacuated tubes were stimulated by the voltage drop between cathode and anode, giving the pattern consecutive dark and bright spot. They noticed. If the air in the first dark spot is expanded to fill the entire tube and all the bright spot disappeared then rays emitted from the cathode could be investigated these rays are called cathode rays at that time scientists did not know what these rays are actually so they kept experiment on them during this experiment scientists accidentally created another ray which they misunderstood as cathode rays we will later see these new rays were actually x rays and also now we know cathode rays are actually energetic electron beams in 1888 lenard conducted experiment on cathode rays he wanted to see whether the cathode rays could pass out of the crookes tube or not Crookes tube is actually one kind of vacuum tube. Lenard built a Crookes tube with a window at the end made of thin aluminum sheet facing the cathode so that the cathode rays could strike it. He found some new kind of rays that came through which caused fluorescence. He also measured the penetration power of these new rays but he did not go further with his experiments. It's now been suggested some of these rays were actually x-rays. Lenard's experiment inspired another physicist Ron Chain to work on cathode rays, who at that time was not so well known for his work. But research on cathode rays was outside of Ron Chain's usual research pursuits. After a while, he started his work on his new interest in October 1895, the study of cathode rays like lenard he also observed the new kind of ray which caused fluorescence the next 6 weeks he then spent day and night in his laboratory to understand this new kind of ray as a meticulous and observant experimenter he made some obvious tests on x-ray with these questions in his mind were they propagated in straight line can they be refracted can they be reflected and most importantly were they different from the cathode rays after many experiments he found this new kind of rays don't show regular refraction or reflection like visible rays of light he also found these new rays are insensitive to magnetic field unlike cathode rays Rontgen concluded that these new rays are different from cathode rays and he referred these as x rays or x radiation to indicate it was an unknown type of radiation he found these rays have medical use when he accidentally made a picture of his wife's hand on a photographic plate formed due to the x rays this photograph of his wife's hand was the first photograph of a human body part using x ray this discovery of x ray made ronjen famous by overnight the new york times said This will bring transformation of modern surgery by enabling the surgeon to detect foreign body. The whole world was astonished by this discovery. Ranjan himself published three papers on the subject, but others jumped on it quickly. And not just a physicist, doctor started to use x-rays to look at bullets in human flesh and photograph broken bones. In the New York Times, Dr. Henry Cattell of University of Pennsylvania confirmed the importance of x-rays in diagnosis of kidney stones in 1896 as time went many applications of x-rays generated enormous interest in people 
they started making new versions of Crookes tubes for generating X-rays. The craze and hype of this new radiation was unimaginable. While the doctors were using this in medical purposes, physicists kept their research on with many questions in their mind like the nature of the radiation, what really causes the X-ray, is it a wave or temporary disturbance in ether medium. After almost two decades, by the time at the beginning of old quantum mechanics, scientists had found all the answers. X-ray is an electromagnetic radiation which is actually transverse wave. The heating or striking of energetic electron of cathode rays with the atoms of aluminium plate causes the X-radiation. The nature of the radiation opened a new branch in physics called X-ray crystallography. The new field was pioneered by Bragg. He gave his famous law known as Bragg's law. This changed the understanding of modern physics forever. We got to enter the domain of crystals and study atoms and their in-between distances. Using X-ray crystallography, we can identify the crystal, define its structure, find its density and many more things. Nowadays, we have various uses of X-rays. In medical science, X-rays created a new branch called radiology. It is actually taking off pictures by X-rays. It mainly has two varieties. One is normal 2D pictures taken by X-rays to detect broken bones and diseases in soft tissues. Another is CT scan or computed tomography. It is also a medical imaging process where 2D X-ray images of specific body part is taken in various directions. In radiotherapy, X-ray is being used to kill cancer cells. As mentioned before, X-ray crystallography is also a use of X-rays. The double helical structure of DNA was discovered with the help of X-ray crystallography. Modern microscopes use X-ray which make them powerful than simple microscope. With this, we can see internal structure of crystal liquids and the atoms of it. In airport or railway stations, security luggage scanners use X-rays for inspecting the interior of luggages. So we can see Ron James' discovery in 1895 was a milestone of many branches of science, including medicines. His spirits of innovation still motivates and inspires many scientists around the world to continue shaping our civilization. If you like the video, then share with your friends and subscribe for future videos.